hello. Today let's build a drawing application using React and Canvas API. We'll start with creating new application using create React app. npx create React app drawing React Canvas. Now let's go to application folder and open the code. Go to src app.js, remove all the layout and instead of it we'll return canvas with a bunch of event listeners. We will track three events, on mouse down when the user presses the mouse button, on mouse up when the user releases the mouse and on mouse move when the user moves the mouse around. And also we'll need to pass a ref to be able to work with this canvas inside of our React component. Let's create our handlers. First we define start drawing function. And this function we will assign to on mouse down. On mouse down, start drawing. Then we define end drawing or better finish drawing and this function will assign to mouse up we also need the draw function that will trigger on mouse move and we need to create a ref object that will hold the reference to our canvas element const canvas ref equals use ref null now let's pass it as a ref. Ref equals canvas ref. Okay, I have a typo here on mouse up. Now we need to initialize our canvas API when our component is mounted. Let's write a use effect hook. Use effect. Let's define a callback. It should trigger only once when we mount. And inside of this use effect, we will get the canvas, the reference to canvas const canvas equals canvas ref current to support computers with higher screen density for example mac with uh, retina screen we will need to double the pixel density so we use canvas width equals window inner width multiplied by two Window inner width is the width of the viewport of your browser. Do the same with height. Inner height multiplied by 2. And now we modify the style of the canvas. But without multiplication. And we need to provide the value in pixels. Now we need to define the 2D context to be able to draw on our canvas. Const context equals canvas get context 2D. We will need to refer to this context in our start drawing, finish drawing and draw functions. So we need to store this context in another reference. Let's create context ref in react you can use ref objects not only to store references for elements but actually to preserve any kind of kind of information that you need between re-renders for example 2d context now we'll assign context ref current equals context and then we can provide the initial settings for our context context scale to this part is also needed to support the increased uh, screen density then we provide line cap context line cap equals round so our lines will have round endings it will just look better context stroke style equals black here we can provide a color context line width equals 5 
Now let's define the drawing callbacks. Let's begin with start drawing. This function is called when we press the mouse button, so we need to call context ref current begin path. We also need to move to the click location. Context ref current move to x and y. How do we get those x and y? We get them by getting the native event from the event that will get as an argument in our on mouse down function. Const offset x offset y equals native event. And we pass them as values to move to function. Offset x and offset y. We also need to remember somehow that the button is pressed. So we will create a new state const is drawing set is drawing equals use state and by default it will be false now in our start drawing function we call set is drawing true and when we finish drawing we can call set is drawing false when we finish drawing we also need to call close path close path. In our draw function we will also need a reference to the native event to get the offset x and offset y. Offset x, offset y from native event. Every time the mouse is moved we need to draw a line to the new coordinates. Line to offset x, offset y and then we call context ref current stroke to draw the stroke. Thing is that if we are not drawing, we should not draw the line. So at the start of our function, we will call if is drawing negated. If we are not drawing, return. I'm using this format that is called the guard clause to not increase the nesting because if I would write if is drawing and then just put everything inside of the block it will increase the nesting and then if I would have another condition it would increase the nesting even more and overall it decreases the readability so I prefer guard clauses so if we are not drawing we return for now, let's remove this test that is not passing anyway. And let's remove the reference to the logo SVG. And I don't think we need app.css here. Okay, now let's launch the app and see if it works. Let's see if we can draw something nice. I'm gonna draw a cat. It's a nice cat. I'm drawing a cat, it's a nice cat, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Here we go. Thank you for watching this video. The link to the code for this application will be in the description. And also, I now have a Discord channel. The link will also be in the description. Let me know in the comments what do you want to see next in my videos. And see you later.